Hello, this is your girl from and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. I'm a, I'm actually, actually back. So I got settled in. I had a long flight. I needed some rest and I need to catch up on a couple of shows. And now I am back and I'm on VU right now. Now I'm in the shop and I was figuring, let me do some male denim jeans graphic denim let me show you guys an easy quick way to do that for the men's now you can use the same technique that i showed you for the women's jeans but i'm going to show you guys the same thing for the men's or probably different i don't know but i'm looking at these and i could already tell i don't like some of them um let's go to the next page to see what they have I like the cargo. The cargo looks nice. Let's see. Hold up. Let me see what this looks like. Okay. So the outfit I have on right now, meaning the sweater, the hoodie, and the pants i mean the hoodie and the shoes i have on that is in my shop available now so if you guys want to support you could definitely go and buy it if not that's fine but at least i'm telling you guys about it um i'm trying to look for some jeans that i feel would look really nice hmm the ripped i like ripped jeans this looks like it's not bad had it not had the belt with it i could work with it all right so i'm gonna see if i could do a version without the belt so make sure you click on the eye and then click on more information and it'll bring you to where you can get the texture from to download it bought me here and this is I'm showing you jeans from Baller. They're slim fit jeans. And this is what the textures look like. Now, I am not going to use the belt at all. Or I might use the belt. It depends. I don't really care for the belt. This is what it looks like. And then you scroll down here to get the product ID number. Make sure you save the textures that you want to, to use and you're going to need. And let's open up GIMP. Let me show you guys what it looks like on my avatar. But these are the jeans. Not bad looking at all. I actually think they look nice. All right, so make sure you have your create mode opened up and make sure you put the code in and you'll be able to get exactly, well, it'll look exactly like this. Okay, let's go into GIMP and get started. All right, so I open the jeans up in GIMP. This is what it looks like texture and then this is the back this is the front and this is the back okay so before i get started i would like to maybe you know what i'm gonna keep the jeans the same color i'm gonna keep it the same color but i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do the new layer this is what i always do when i press okay i right click new layer and i'll just say okay all right we're all set on that end now what textures am i going to use on top of that i don't know yet so let's go into google and see what kind of cool textures they have available so this is what i looked up unique texture backgrounds actually look at some 
These aren't bad. Some of these are not bad at all. These are very unique and different. Um, not exactly sure what I would want the jeans to look like. But these are giving me some ideas. Some. I like the abstract backgrounds. I'm going to look some more. It's actually kind of cool. Like, did I find one that I'm I love? This is actually really nice. I didn't find one I really love yet, so I'm gonna keep looking. But when you choose a texture, you can always if you don't like it, you could always go back and undo everything and just start from scratch again. So if I don't like something, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Nothing's really catching my eye that's going to make me be like, yeah, these jeans, these are going to sell. And you want to have things in your shop that you think will sell. This is actually kind of cool. A lot of the texture. The stuff that I know will sell, may not sell, I don't know. With VU, it's completely different. Most of the things that sell in my shop are things that I don't expect to sell, you know, that gets a high sale. But they end up getting high sales, and I'm like, why aren't the products that I actually love, love, getting the same thing? So it, it's, it could be very difficult and annoying at times, but in the end, it's worth it. What you may think is not good enough may be good enough for other people. That's actually really cool. There's so many different ones. I can't see myself using these on blue jeans, though. That's the only thing. It took me a while, but I was able to settle on a texture that I like. There's different ones that I uh, downloaded, so let's go take a look. Open as layer, textures and logos, and I downloaded a bunch. So scroll down here. Just like graffiti, basically. I actually like the, these colors on here. I love this. This is really artistic. There's different ones. We'll see. That one's not showing, but this one's showing. I'm going to settle on this. I'm going to scale it first. So layer, scale layer to about 300 over 600. I'm just going to leave it 612 and I'm just change the top there and I'm gonna do the same for here open as layer and then I'm going to scale it layer scale layer I'm gonna open that 300 and then scale there now I'm going to merge it down merge down Layer, merge down. And I'm going to play with the opacity, which is on the right hand side, as you can see. And I'm going to see what it looks like. That's not bad. So it's at 43.8. Let's see what it looks like over here 43.8. I'm going to layer, merge it down, and I'm going to do the same for this one, merge it down. And now I'm going to sharpen it. So filters, enhance, 
scroll down, sharpen. This is what it looks like. Just play with it, radius amount. I'm not going to sharpen it too much. I'm just going to press OK. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on filters, repeat, sharpen. And there. And now I'm going to overwrite it. File, overwrite. I'm going to do the same for the other thing. File, overwrite. Export. Now let's go see exactly what it looks like in VU. We're back in VU. Let's see what it looks like. Edit. Textures and then scroll down. And then I'm going to do the same here. Scroll down. And then I'm going to press apply changes. Save. Now I'm going to get rid of the belt. I did say I did not want the belt. Opacity map, background, apply changes, and the belt disappeared. There is no belt. This is what the jeans look like. Now, it's not that bad, but you get the point of what I'm trying to make here, is that you can make jeans that originally didn't belong to you look completely different and no I will not be putting these in the shop because it's not good enough for me but this is just an example of what they look like now that's not bad actually it's not bad at all so it went from plain to this and these are male jeans now when it comes to uploading, there's only a certain amount of, I guess, IMVU lets you upload as far as the amount. So if it reaches over the amount, I think it's like 5M or something like that. If it reaches over the amount, it won't let you upload the product, so you're going to have to resize these textures, which is easy, easily done in GIMP. You could easily resize. For example, I'm going to show you. Remember to not delete anything yet until after you're able to upload it into the shop. IMVU will let you know if you're the, I don't know if it's the KBs or whatnot, the amount is too much for VU to handle. They'll let you know. Um, that means that they're, they won't, they're not going to accept your product and you're not going to be able to upload it into the shop. So in order to be able to upload, you're going to have to resize the product. So you just go to image and you just scale it. That's all you do. Image and scale it and make it smaller. If it needs to be smaller, it needs to be smaller. So that's pretty much how you do it. I'm not going to exact. Uh, you know what? Let me just give you an example of how to do it. Scale image. And let's just say we will not accept it. I'll just make it smaller. And it'll look like that. <laughs> so it's a smaller version of what you created. But that's just an example. It doesn't have to be this small but they'll let you know the amount. Sometimes you won't even have to do all that. But there's been times when I deleted my work before I was able to upload it, and then I finally uploaded it, and it says I couldn't upload it because it was too big. The files were too big. And since I deleted it, I no longer have that work anymore. So you definitely don't want to delete your work until you know you have enough to where you can upload it. But thank you guys for watching 
make sure you like and subscribe you can comment down below if you have any questions or concerns and thumb up the video please that helps a lot and thank you and i'll see you guys next time